Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about healthier choices management, single symbol HCMC. I haven't been updating for the last two days. Again, I've been very busy, but today, you know, I'll get on it now. I finally settled down and we can get with the, you know, daily uploads all over again for every stock you guys want to hear. Today we're talking about HCMC. And you can obviously see that HCMC has um, fell quite a bit since, you know, um, having the, the patent validation um, from PM. And right now, you know, we are seeing it hitting the low of 0.0011. Um, and, you know, you can see it's close and it's coming into that range again. You can see previously when we were struggling between this range. And then, you know, during that time, we went to the low of 0.001. So we're, you know, not that far away from it. You can see for the large, you know, um, three days, we pretty much saw the price go down to 0.0011. However, it was bought up at the end of the day and we held each day at 0.012. So overall, it's looking quite well. I will get on with the technical analysis in a further on into the video. I do have something really interesting in terms for you know, this whole pattern validation. I saw a post on Reddit and it described very well. Um, I'm gonna be you know, using his and kind of looking at his post and I give him my own thoughts and then further on in the end of this video, I will then be talking about the technical analysis of HCMC. So, you know, it's made by this person called MDG1775 and he's talking about the HCMC slash PM pattern challenge in a nutshell. Um, so here, he's talking, basically he's talking about PM is exactly doing what they should in challenging HCMC's pattern. It's in the playbook when you're faced with copyright infringement litigation and have the legal resources to make such a play. Typically, it does not work and it's a Hail Mary, but it's foolish, foolish not to try. Cost PM a first class mail stamp and $450 an hour for the lawyer to write up their rationale um, argument. Pros for PM. And, you know, so this is basically he's talking about this is something that you should do regardless. You know, it's always if you're in this situation like PM, you should always do it anyway. And he's talking about, and here's listing out the pros. The pros, costing them very little to file. He talked about it here. First class, uh, mail stamp at $450 an hour for the lawyer to write up the argument. You know, $450 for, for some people may be obviously a huge amount. For PM, you know, it is just something they don't probably wouldn't even care. They probably wouldn't even realize they're paying that much. Um, it takes time, may delay uh, federal inf infringement litigation already. Um, you know, taking time, this is a huge thing. Now, the reason why I say that is because taking time, because it's looking like, you know, from the previous, um, you know, lawsuit news that we've seen, it looks like PM is not actually standing on very strong ground. It looks like overall HCMC is winning. You know, they have a very strong ground to stand on. And so for PM, you know, they need more time to get, you know, more arguments, um, more data, you know, just more things to fight back with. And so this taking time is obviously helping them. PM could win and the resulting decision from the PTO will be used as part of PM's motion to dismiss HCMC's lawsuit. You know, like you said, it's a Hail Mary. However, you know, with all Hail Marys, there's always that one off chance where it could work. In this case, maybe, you know, by some chance, HCMC's pattern is similar to a previous pattern and it becomes, you know, um, invalidated. And, you know, in that case, PM could win. Again, this is a very low percentage, um, you know, so I wouldn't really count on it. However, I wouldn't count it out either. Um, create a second front of battle for HTMC to deal with. If HTMC does not have the resources, it's easy to get beaten just because you're a small fish and that cannot keep up with all the coordination of filings. You know, obviously it's very true. PM is um, a huge company um, and it's, you know, enormous compared to HTMC. And so by them doing this, it could overload HTMC. However, we all know that recently HMC has raised you know, over $27 million. And so with that, you know, hopefully we're, we're, we'll be able to see more kind of help and power in terms of fighting back. So that's obviously very good. Now, this is the cons. It's BF. HMC should be able to quickly argue against PM's claim of an invalid pattern. You know, they should be, be able to do it anyway. But now, like I said, with the money they've gotten recently, you know, it's even easier. PTO is smart, they have scientists and engineers, they understand the science and granted the origin, original pattern, PM cannot submit any groundbreaking discovery to make the US PTO, second guess their original decision to patent the technology in the first place, which is very true, you know, um, the PTO takes obviously every request, um, you know, very strongly, 
And so it's unlikely for them to make a mistake where one pattern is kind um, of, or at least very similar to a previous pattern that has been submitted. Um, the judge in the civil trial may not delay his ruling or even acknowledge the challenge to the pattern. He may or he might not. He does not have to consider anything that has not been submitted for his consideration as part of the process. I doubt he will entertain a stay request based on this long shot filing by PM to USPTO. If they lose their civil suit and then the USPTO sides with them, PM could use the USPTO decision in any future appeal. Um, you know, so basically he's talking about um, if, if in the future something like this to happen again, they can use the same evidence. And the process, disclaimer, the process takes time. USPTO is a highly respected, mature federal agency. Um, I have worked with them for many years on a lot of different issues. They will consider them um, the claim by PM on its merits and then take the appropriate amount of time to weigh all arguments if they deem it necessary. They could convene a hearing and listen to oral arguments from both sides. In my experience, this could take more than a year given the backlogs of COVID-19 have created throughout. So yeah, so this is what you know I'm talking about. And um, you know, a lot of people have obviously said that it may not take a year. However, you know, it has been already stated that because of COVID-19, you know, it, the whole process is going to take longer than usual. And so that's what I'm saying about how this is obviously a big thing that PM is using this, you know, to their advantage by obviously extending the time as much as possible. They'll be able to get more evidence. We can look at it in a way, you know, the longer this get dragged um, out for, you know, the more kind of confidence PM is getting because they will be able to, you know, get more things. However, you know, this will be capped at one point. You know, you cannot just, once all your evidence, once you need to get everything you need, you know, that is that. You can't create more things out of thin air. Um, I think at the end of the day, ultimately, um, you know, PM is at a very low chance. And even by extending all of this, I still don't think they will have a high chance in terms of winning right now. It really just looks like PM is just trying to do whatever they can in order trying to win this lawsuit. And so, you know, I just think that, what they're doing right now one thing is to obviously get less investors on his cmc you know because it's a strategy of if we were to you know elongate this whole process people don't want to invest in you guys anymore which you know from you know how how it has been looking like it seems like it's already working you can see that since the news has been out we've seen the price decline and so in a way i feel like they could have used it as a strategy to get um you know people to stop investing into his cmc but ultimately, it's kind of for them to get, you know, get their ground, get their footing and just, you know, come back with a stronger argument. You know, it really is helping them. The longer this take, you know, the, the more it's going to be helping PM. However, you know, I don't think um, it would drastically change the decision or the outcome. You know, I think that HCMC does have the higher kind of um, ground here. We do have to be waiting for, you know, a, a big thing, maybe... Um, you know, something that no one expects right now of how everything's going, you know, I don't feel like that is coming out. However, it is, you know, not to be too certain about, we could always think, see things change. But yeah, kind of looking at, you know, the chart right now, we're going to be going with the technical analysis. You can see that, you know, we are seeing price action. We are seeing the price selling off to 0 0.0011, like I've said in the start of the video, but, you know, just like how the chart is right now, it then gets you know pulled back towards 0 0.012. You can pretty much see the movement is 0 0.012 to 0 0.0011. And obviously it stops in between. Um, however, you know, the range is pretty much the, the 1, 2 to 1, 1. Um, you know, I personally think that this is okay. You know, I feel like with the sell-off, it is something natural to see. I don't feel like there's anything to be worrying about. You can see that you know price action and kind of the chart pattern does play into a role for his MC. You can see that double bottom here was created, and it almost and you know in fact you, one could argue obviously it did go above you know the W the neck, um, and if we look at this just you know pure from a pure technical perspective, it was respecting kind of the double the double bottom. However, because of the fundamental catalyst that got involved we then see in a fail to fully complete this double bottom. And so I think, you know, in HCMC, we still do see an aspect of um, technical analysis when we don't have that many catalysts. You know, there are still um, technical aspects playing in. So I do think it's still important to be looking at that. Now, something that I think we should be seeing right now or we could potentially be seeing 
is, you know, if we're talking about um, in terms of the selling off, we can see it touching here, going there. So that's the, um, that's the low, this is a lower high and now we're going for a lower low. You know, we could potentially be seeing this. Um, I personally don't think so. I just do think again, because of this um, fundamental catalyst that has come in that we saw the sell off. I do think that we are gonna see HTMC being bought up. You can see down here, you know, the 200 MA is gradually increasing. You know, the higher this 200 MA goes, you know, the higher uh, we have for a support. You know, once this, I think once the 200 MA reaches 0 0.012, I doubt the price will even break in to the 0 0.011 anymore because the 0 0.012 will act as such a strong support. We can just see from here right now, there are a lot of buyers coming into HTMC at the 0 0.11 level. You know, I think everyone realized that HTMC does have a chance. I think even without, you know, in the short term, the lawsuit case, there is still opportunities and investment, you know, um, investment value in HCMC. So a lot of people are seeing this and they're buying at 0 0.011. And, you know, for anyone who is interested in HCMC, you know, now that we're back in this range, you know, originally I've said that when we were here, it was a good um, place to buy. We've obviously seen it go up, you know, almost 200%. And so, you know, I do think that we're coming down to this level again, it's presenting us with a new opportunity. I do feel like, you know, once the, the 200 MA goes above the price it is now, it's very unlikely for it to touch this price unless we see a huge fundamental catalyst. Um, but, you know, if we don't, just from the technical aspect alone, I just highly doubt we're going to be touching the zero point, uh, you know, anywhere below the 200 MA when, you know, for example, if the 200 MA, um, you know, it comes to this level, you know, I highly doubt the price will be touching anywhere down here again. If the 200 MA comes down to this level, I highly doubt, you know, it will come down to here again, etc., etc. And so without any huge fundamental catalyst, and I just feel like it's very unlikely for it to touch, to go below the 200 MA. But yeah, guys, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you guys think about HMC and comment down below what you guys want to see next. Other than that, enjoy your day.